The worldwide AI race is on. China's openly targeting global leadership by 2030, and it's well on the way. The dominant factor is the tenacious entrepreneurs and the large market and the large amount of data that's rocket fuel for AI. It started out behind the global tech curve, but with key elements evolving only recently, China's now taken the lead in some fields of AI and is close behind in others. China is already the world's leader in speech recognition, machine translation, drones and computer vision. And U.S. is leading in autonomous vehicles, robotics and business AI. So it's about 50-50 right now. The Chinese government's commitment to its goal is perhaps best illustrated by Zhong An, a smart city dedicated to AI development, where applications can be tested on a large scale. UBS believe that the development of AI in China hinges on two key factors. One is the availability of data, especially how that changes outside of China. Right now, the Chinese citizen is 1.3 times as willing to share data versus the US, and three times as willing to share data versus Germany. The second key uncertainty is the openness of markets. China does depend on uh, US and Europe on components, algorithms, uh, semiconductors, and how that changes going forward in terms of regulation uh, is going to play a big part on how the AI develops in China. So what does it mean for investors? The tech sector is typically winner-takes-all. UBS highlights Alibaba, Baidu, Tencent, Hikvision and TSMC as potential tech space victors. Many non-tech sectors in China are fragmented and AI is likely to bring economies of scale that could cause consolidation and disruption. We believe Neo Oriental, Pinan, SF, Yum China and some of the tier one automakers in China are ready for AI. Sector leaders' competitive advantage through AI will trickle down, with disruption most likely to hit smaller insurers, food retailers and auto firms. If data is China's sleeping dragon and the government can tame it, it's very possible it will win the AI arms race.